Today we're gonna talk about stones from space. This is Naturalis Newsroom. Here at Naturalis Biodiversity Center, we also have a geology section of more than 100,000 objects. A few dozen of those are meteorites. But we do not only have meteorites, but also people studying those. Introducing Naturalis geologist Leo Kriegsman. Hi Leo. Hi. What is your discovery? Our discovery is a meteorite that fell on the Netherlands on the 11th of January at 9 minutes past 5 that day. How is it found? You could say the main case when meteorites are found in, in, Hol in Holland, for example, is when it hits a roof or, or a car or whatever. Well, in this case, it, uh, the meteorite went through uh, the roof of a shed. So people found it the next morning. And there's even a small movie of the meteorite fall. How often does it happen that a meteorite strikes at the Netherlands? Uh, you could say on average it would be about once in four years that you have a meteorite of, of, a, of a fist size. So once every four years, but there are only six found in total, right? Yes, we have only have, this is the n number six, so you could say on average we find one every, say, 30 years. But the chances of finding that small thing, you know, is, is very, very small. Yeah. No. So this is quite, quite unique. It's very unique. We're very happy with it. We're very, yeah, uh, excited about it. How old is this meteorite? This meteorite is probably around four and a half billion years old. Why is it special? Well, r meteorites are very special because we do not have rocks of this age on Earth. For me it's just a strange looking stone, but what can you learn from it? We can learn from it what happened in the very beginning of the solar system, when you had a, a sort of a, a stellar cloud that collapsed, when minerals started to form, when planetoids started to form for the very first time. So it gives us information on what happened at the very beginning when the Earth was formed. Geology is all about Earth. So why do we study something from space? Well, the funny thing is, of course, you could say once, once a meteorite hits the Earth, it becomes part of the Earth system. So that's why uh, any meteorite is, is also telling us something about the Earth itself. It's found in Broek in Waterland, but where does this meteorite come from? It probably comes from the region between Mars and Jupiter. There's a large asteroid belt where you have a lot of, uh, you could say, rocks and small planets flying around and sometimes they go out of their orbit and then they hit a planet like, like the Earth. How big is this meteorite? Uh, the meteorite is about a fist size, so it's half a kilogram, it's a fairly small object, but before it, it, it hit uh, the Earth's atmosphere it was probably 10-20 times bigger. And before that it comes from a small planetoid, which was probably hit by another planetoid, exploded and fragments of that say have now reached the Earth. Could there be more pieces laying around? Well, we were hoping for more pieces. And we found nothing, absolutely nothing. The whole area is sterile. Before it hit the Earth, how fast did it go? Uh, usually they go around 10 to 20 kilometers per second. Which means that when they hit the Earth's atmosphere, they have to break very, very fast. And that's the reason why they heat up and melt and evaporate. And by the time it hits the surface, it has the speed, you could say, of a high velocity train. If it would hit you, it would be fatal. <laughs> so what is the name of this meteorite? Well, maybe it's not a surprise. It will be called the Brook in Waterland meteorite. After the village. Great discovery. Any last conclusions? When you find a meteorite, you contact Naturalis at the Nature Information Center. This was Naturalis Newsroom. See you at our next discovery.